Hollywood Critics Association got booed for selling Meg TV Award after Emmy said no to her demands as a judge. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have received a boost after a turbulent period in their post-working royal life that saw them split with their media partner Spotify and face being publicly labelled grifters. On Tuesday, it was announced that the couple's Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan has been nominated for a Hollywood Critics Association TV award in the category for Best Streaming Nonfiction Series. This means no Emmy nomination, and so she bought another award. How embarrassing. A royal traitor who betrays his country and family for easy cash by selling privacy is always going to get Tim Pot awards because of the publicity he generates. Dumb Harry's equally vindictive, talentless wife will tell him that it's all because they're so successful. The cash figures for what they're being paid are pure fantasy, put out by their PRs to try to make them sound successful. The Hollywood Critics Association is more established as a celebrator of film founded in 2016. So, this is a newly created award ceremony. They might have nominated them just to get press coverage. In June, Hollywood Critics Association President Nikki Fowler resigned as she accused the association of being a hostile, biased and dismissive executive work environment. Announcing the news on Twitter, the organization revealed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are up against prehistoric Planet 2, Rain Wilson and the Geography of Bliss, Renovations, the 1619 Project and the Reluctant Traveller with Eugene Levy. Shortly after the awards were announced, the Hollywood Critics Association has been booed for selling the award to Meghan Markle. Many bricks were also thrown under the Hollywood Critics post on Twitter. This is all Meghan can afford. She's not getting nominated for an Emmy. One user said, certain awards can be bought. Trust me, I needed a few voted number one in the to sell merch, it's not hard, money talks. A second one added, I'm unclear how they can be nominated for a non-fiction award when the docu-series was pure fiction. A third person commented, the Harry and Meghan Netflix show is the most self-aggrandizing, conceited, self-glorifying, narcissistic content to ever be put on TV. Beyond cringe, beyond self-adulation, the show is grandiose narcissism on full display, filled with blatant lies and hypocrisy. They are duplicitous. Buy all the nominations that you want, you're still grifters. Buy all the awards you want, you're still not royal. Buy all the pap shoots you want, you're still horribly narcissistic woman of a family that actually welcomed you. People who matter know that these two are buying awards. Hollywood's not stupid. They know a busted flush when they see one. Not stopping there, Meghan also wants to buy an important role in the Emmy ceremony after the award rejected to sell her a prize. According to a Scottish Daily Express, Meghan Markle wants to be on the judging panel at the Emmys this year. It's been claimed, as she eyes a gong of her own. Last week, we talked about how she'd had the week from hell. She had absolutely no idea what she was going to do. So, in reply to that this week, what her publicist has come up with is that tomorrow in California, LA, they'll be nominating who's going to be for next month's Emmys, and Meghan is hoping that her Netflix series will be nominated. And Meghan also hopes that she might be named as one of the judges to award a prize. But the Emmys said no. She's looking for a way to get back into Hollywood. And then they leak this ridiculous story that Kevin Costner wants to cast her in a new version of The Bodyguard. So suddenly, Meghan returns to Hollywood, where she never was in the first place. But somehow, she has to feel that she's wanted.